What is going on guys, DBG here, and this video we are going to be going over the best point guards in NBA 2K20 on my team. So lads, this is going to be the last of these for the year. It's going to be the last of the best point guards tier list in NBA 2K21, which is kind of crazy. Which is kind of, kind of crazy because it's hard to believe that we have done 12 of these. Starting off in September, then obviously October which is normally followed by November and December, and then all the other months in 2021, which I'm not really bothered to name. And uh, yeah, this is it. This is the August tier list, lads. So if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We're trying to 275K by NBA 2K22. If we can manage to hit that, that would be absolutely, absolutely insane, lads. Like 275K. That means, honestly, we're on track for like 300k by 2k23, which will be just a, an insanely, insanely good number. But uh, anyway, we're going to be going over these right now. So these guys are the best primary point guys in the game. Obviously, there's a lot of great point guys that don't play primary point guard. We're we'll going over them in a different video because I don't want to put like the same players in about three different tier lists. For example, well, sorry, for, in two different tier lists. For example, like, I don't know. I'm trying to think of who's primary. Like, Bars Dia will be a high tier, but he's a primary power forward. So anyway, now let's go to Alex Caruso. Alex Caruso. Uh, I think this day game is D tier. You know what this Alex Caruso and C tier. There's not that much of a difference in the Carusos. I think they both shoot the ball relatively well. I don't love their release. I don't hate their release. I think they've got decent height. Like yeah, they're they're six five, which is quite a good height. The problem is though, is that. While, yeah, they're 6'5", they do have a short wingspan of only 6'6". Six six. At the end of the day, does that matter? Yes. Is that the biggest deal in the world? No. But they're good. Like, they are good, good players. No question about it. They are cards that I would de I'm definitely, definitely interested in. Um, well, I was definitely interested in getting one of... I'm getting the Dark Matter one um, at the time, even though I've barely used them. I used Pink Diamond a little bit when he came out, but just solid. So then we got AO to Sunmu. Um, he's going to go a tier ahead in, in B tier. He's got... He, he's alright at a lot of things. He really is. He's alright at a lot of things. He's a good shooter. He is an alright length. 6'5", six, 6'9", six, wingspan. He's a step above Caruso, definitely. He might get moved to B. Byron Davis, E tier. He's Dame. I mean, no other way to describe him. He's he's Dame Lillard. That's the best way to describe Byron Davis. And we got Ben Simmons. I'm going to go SS with Ben Simmons. I think both of these Ben Simmons are in the top like five or six point guards. I think they are debatably. Um, this one here is debatably the best point guard in the game. A lot of people see him as that. Uh, for me, it's either Cade or Hito, just because I love base 98. And speaking of Cade, I'm going to go Cade A. I'm going to go S and A for Cade. I'm going to go S and A for Cade. Like, you guys don't know how much I like that, uh, how much I like Base 98. And I actually really enjoy Cade Cunningham's uh, Opal card. Like, I don't have Cade Cunningham's better card. But still, Cade is a... Uh, this Cade is good enough for me, the Galaxy Opal one. But the Dark Matter Cade, uh, you can argue he's the best point guard in the game. Telling you, no question about that. You can argue that Kay Cunningham is better than any other point guard in my team. So for that reason, I'm gonna put Kay Cunningham in um, S and A tier. He's a, he's a no-brainer S tier. And the other one, you can maybe argue the other one down in B, but I actually really like him, so I'm going A. Chris Paul, he stinks. Chris Paul is so bad. Like I wish I was I wish I could say Chris Paul was good or I could with a straight face say that I liked Chris Paul card. No. He's he's horrific. He's terrible. Nothing is good about this card. And he can't even he can't even he can barely move. Uh Kobe White D. He's like slight he's as good as he's probably better than the Pink Time Cruiser, probably worse than the Opal. No, no I'll go see. I'll go see. So you're better than the Pink Time worse than Dark Matter. Uh, I'm gonna go E tier for Cole Anthony. Is E tier is Cole Anthony better than Brian Davis? Probably not. I don't like his release either. Dame. I mean Dame's going down here. I don't like Dame in 2K. 
I really don't like Dame 2k. I have I have the Space Jam Dame. I have the other Dame. Don't like Dame 2k. Okay, so we're going to fill out the bottom tier right now. Because we are... We're about five... Well, the bottom tiers. We're about five minutes into this tier list. So these ones are probably going to be that little bit shorter. Like, Isaiah Thomas obviously going into the worthless tier. And, like, Isaiah Thomas is just weak. He's just weak. Like, he's a not great shooter. I don't know why they didn't let him curry slide. I don't get it. He's, like... I'm pretty sure he is one of... Not one of. He is the only invincible... That isn't a power forward or center that can't curry slide. Like he's like the only one of the only invincibles that they did not give Pro Two to, that aren't a power forward or center. Like they will give David Robinson, Kareem, or Kareem Dudge Baron, he, he's not included. They'll give Shaq Pro Two, but they won't give Isaiah Thomas Pro Two. This guy is horrendous. He's ter like he's terrible even with the curry slide, but I mean even without it, he can't even side the side spam. Like at least they're gonna give him normal two. They gave him the normal two, uh, basic size up. Maybe you could say, okay, at least they're giving him park sigs, but no. No. Okay, then we've got da uh, Davian Mitchell. I don't mind him, he's just 6'2". He's like slightly better than Dame. And it's tough because it's hard to uh, make a 2K player play the way he plays in real life. Because... He's one of those people in real life, a lot of his like game is based on intensity and, well, everyone just holds the or 2 button the exact same way. Every person in my team holds the or 2 button the exact same way. Okay, so then we've got Buggy Cousins. Buggy Cousins is going to go into... I don't mind... I'm going to actually put Buggy in the B tier. Like, he is a 6'10", decent point guard. Like, is he this god tier player? Of course not. But Buggy is a pretty decent point guard his shooting is not great but he moves well on current gen does not move on next gen but at the end of the day though he is still tall he's still going to um play the center position very well and yeah for me i think b tier is fine and we had darren williams darren williams going e tier if darren williams a blind is i put him in d tier so like, i'm gonna go with rose and d tier a little bit higher but man, Darren Williams has got base 38. 38 is one of, in my opinion, the best releases in the game. And I think D-Will is a fantastic shooter. The problem is, is that small players kind of need blinders. Like, he's never going to be good on current gen. His 138 is kind of hard to green on current gen. And uh, for that reason, for the reason that he's never going to be great on current gen, I think it's tough to... Uh, it's tough to put him in... A higher tier and also on next gen he's not even spectacular on next gen either because of no blinders and they took away his blinders from his other card like his opal for for its time was great like that 98 overall opal anyone who used that card when he first came out in like april like he came out during the i'm pretty sure he came out during the carmelo am i right in saying he came out during the carmelo anthony week i'm pretty sure he did and he was the, he was the first galaxy opal in the game that was under 50k and he went down to like 20k he was actually good then we got d rose who's going one step ahead d rose is very much like i'm pretty he's very much like a just a, a taller davian mitchell taller slightly better davian mitchell um he's just very slightly better so i'm putting him a tier ahead but again that's a very very close one there but d rose will be very slightly better and we got Donald. Donald was good for his time, but I mean, he's E tier right now. He's kind of low E tier. I might be moving Donald as of right now down to Worthless. But Don, man, Donald had his time, lads. He had his time. I'm telling you, if you guys played this game around uh, March time, Donald was one of the most common point guys to be ran. Because he was basically just Derrick Rose 2.0. Like, he was better. Like, at that time, there was Dwayne Wade and Gary Payton before season five that everyone ran and then don Ol. so many people got don Ol in like one game of triple trap vault every basically everyone who took a load of time to get ferry got don Ol game one or early and we got moody i mean at this stage again moody is worthless he is six five but he's not very good Yanis s i do i prefer Yanis to ben probably not can you debate Yanis versus ben of course therefore um it is 
this is the way we are going with it. We're gonna go one tier above, or gonna go same tier for both of them, because you can very easily debate. Honestly, either of them being in a being the best point guard in the game. Like, I don't know why I just prefer Bend is here. Um, Gilbert Arenas. Gilbert's going D tier. Gilbert with that Trey Burke base is definitely going D tier. Grant Hill. This is an A tier player. And this is a still a really good card. I'm telling the odds. Grant Hill. He's way better than people think he is. He is way, way better than people think he is. Again, Grant Hill can move. He can shoot. He plays defense. His release is a, leaves a little bit to be desired. I can't lie. And I'm not the biggest fan of that Invincible. But like... This card especially, like he was the best player in the game when he came out. No question about that. When he came out in like the middle of season six, he was the best player in the game. He came out the same day as point guard Kobe, and there was no debate. There was no debate. Grant Hill was a hundred times better. And then we got into Hal Greer. Hal Greer, because he's got 98, is on a really long wingspan. He's that tiny bit better than the smaller guys. He's just a slight bit better. I mean, three hunters have a lot of success with Hal Greer. So for me, he is going into um, D tier. But if you want to move him down to E tier or move someone else that you like up to D tier, I'm cool with that as well. At the end of the day, this is just my opinion. Okay. Ido Turkoglu S. My favorite point guard in the game. I will say though, if you're on current gen, um, K Cunning is better than Ido. But I've used both K Cunning on my next gen. Um, in my opinion. The Simmons upper is way nicer on base 98 on current gen. I'm taking, give me Hito any day over, uh, give me Hito any day over Cade on next gen. Give me Cade any day over Hito on current gen. So it's, if you're asking me who the best point guard is in the game, it's a tough one. Maybe personal bias, I'll put Hito first, but it's one of those situations where, I mean, the answer can be either. There's no wrong answer. Honestly, there's no wrong answer if you have any of these players in S tier except for this Ben Simmons because there's an objectively better Ben Simmons. There is no wrong answer other than that. Bonga. Setshot 14 is not... It's good, not unbelievable on current gen, so that's why he's going into B tier. But I like Bonga. I really, really like Bonga. And I can't believe that I haven't, uh, haven't used Bonga a little bit more. I really, really liked Isaac Bonga. Or Isaac Bonga when um, I used him. And uh, his ruby was great for his time as well. Jalen Rose is a little bit better than Bonga. He's a really good shooter. Again, moves really well. Is six foot eight at the point guard position, which is like Bonga, a very very good height for a player. And honestly, he's just he's just one of those super super good, super super good point guards that I kind of went under the radar because I do think um, Darius Miles was slightly better um i do think darius Moss was a slightly slightly better uh, player than um jalen rose which is why everyone's kind of kind of slept on jalen rose but for me i'm a i'm putting him in eight here if miles was here miles would be eight here as well but i'm gonna put him eight here jalen suggs b tier he's a little bit small but he is so good. I'm telling you, Jalen Suggs is so good. His uh, movement is incredible. His three-point shot is incredible. He's like a mini version of Luka Doncic. I'm telling you, he is unreal, lads. He is absolutely unreal. He's way better than a Kobe White. He's way better than a Caruso. He's so good. Then we have got Jamal Murray. You know, C tier for Jamal. He's basically, he's Kobe White. Him and Jamal are Murray. Are, Kobe White and Jamal Murray are clones. Jamal Murray's better at some things, but like, question is, is like, Jamal Murray is 6'4, but is he as good as Jalen Suggs? No. So Suggs is going to go a tier ahead of him because, again, they're the same. They're both quite undersized, and I'm only going to put one of these guys in this tier, and it's going to be Jamal Murray. Okay, then we have got Jamarant. Ja, E tier. I don't like Ja. I don't really like Ja. This Ja has got blinders. The one, this Ja is better on next gen. This Ja is better on current gen. We're good, they're both going E tier. Jeremy Lin. Jeremy Lin realistically should be. He's better. Like you could. Like Jeremy Lin's just better than Don Ol. I just hate him. 
I just hate him with a passion, so he's going into worthless here. I don't think there are any other absolutely worthless players here. Um, Parker, probably. Parker. I'm going to put him here. I'm going to move a few players up. Up it here. Here you go, Darren. Dame. E and Mitchell. I'm going to go with this. This is D tier. Parker sucks, though. Parker sucks. Okay, Jerry West. Jerry West. E tier. He's a little bit undersized. He's got a long wingspan. His, but his release is iffy. It's not terrible. Like, some people are telling me Jerry West release is terrible. But, like, I used the Galaxy Opal in a couple of videos. And he's actually pretty cash. Like, he hits a lot of shots that you wouldn't necessarily expect him to hit. So, for me, I don't, uh, I don't particularly dislike the card. Again, do I think he's the best card in the world? No. Do I think he's a bad card? Also, no. So, uh, yeah, but he is in a, he is now in to E tier. Basketball John. Basketball John 6-1, but he's not going. I can't in good, in good faith put Basketball John in worthless tier. Is he good? No. Is he worthless? No. Um, and it would be disrespect to Basketball John. It would be disrespect to John Stockton after the year that John Stockton has had to uh, put him in this tier. It would be disrespectful. John Stockton has been one of the most iconic cards. He's one of the most iconic cards in my team for a lot of the year. So it would be disrespectful to put him down into uh, into worthless tier. Even though he is 6'1", which is not a great height. But at the end of the day, he's not a terrible height either. We got John Wall. John Wall is going C tier. You could argue him up into B tier. You most definitely could argue him in B tier. Um, Kyrie Irving. Get into worthless. He's someone that I forgot. He sucks. He absolutely sucks. Like, I have, I got Kyrie Irving in the Dark Matter locker code. And he is horrendous. Like, there's bad cards in this Kyrie Irving. Like, there are bad cards in my team in this Kyrie Irving. That's just the way I look at it. I don't know what 2K have done with Kyrie Irving the last two years, but he's terrible. Like, he's terrible. Like, Kyrie Irving used to be good in 2K. Remember that? Remember in like 2K, realistically 2K15 to 2K19. I don't remember much about jump shots 2K14. He had one of the nicest releases in 2K15 to 2K19. And then they gave him one of the worst releases in 2K20. Like he literally, his hands and feet move at different times. It's slow. It's hard to time. Even on very quick, it's slow. Oh, it is. I don't know what they did to Kyrie Irving's release. I do not know what they did to Kyrie's release. But whatever they did to Kyrie's release, they needed to change it back. Because Kyrie went from being iconic for having one of the best jump shots in 2K to having one of the worst jump shots in 2K within two years. Like they, I don't understand what 2K have done. Like uh, maybe it's maybe it's a Cavaliers fan that was pissed off that he he made the trade that gave Kyrie Irving that signature base. Because you better believe, you better believe Kyrie Irving is not a is horrendous in 2K. This year, and until they change that release, until they just give Kyrie Irving his old release back, he's going to be terrible. He's going to be absolutely, absolutely terrible. So, um, yeah, now we have got uh, Lamar Odom. Odom's going to go B tier. Odom's tall. Screw it. Screw him. Odom's going. No, I'm just going B tier. My whole thing with Odom is he should be better than he is. I, there's no reason why Odom does not play better than he uh, than he does in game. Like Odom, he can shoot. He's not a great shooter, but like he should be a great shooter if you get me. Like he's uh, he's got a good base. His upper, I think, puts is is what puts me off big a lot. Like, again, as I always say, bad base equals bad jump shot. So, not bad jump shot. Bad upper equals bad jump shot. People don't realize that. I think that's the case at Lamar Odom. Then we got Lamelo Ball. Lamelo's A tier. Lamelo moves. And then this Lamelo, I'm going to have to put this Lamelo in A tier as well. I don't believe he's as good as these guys in S tier. If you want to argue he's in S tier, that's fine. He's got perfect stats. He's 6 foot 8 with perfect badges. I think I'm going to have to move. This, as much as I love this Cade, I'm going to move this Cade down. Because I don't believe he belongs in the same tier as Lamelo Ball. Even though I do love that Cade, but he do, again, he doesn't have the hot zones. Um, 
and a couple of his stats are lacking especially on the defensive end but uh yeah so lamello ball is going to go into a tier both of his cards he's again he's another one of those that his movement is different he moves a little bit like penny hardaway in that they're just their movement feels different when you use them and it's hard to explain in a type of tier list video it's just their everything they do every sort of turn they make feels more fluid there are a few players that are like that i don't know how to do a player build i don't know what it is but they just everything they do is just fluid and that's the case with um lamella ball so then we've got larry bird larry i like larry he's gonna beat here he's gonna beat here like i definitely think there are flaws to larry bird so i'm trying to think do i move anyone i'm gonna move boogie down I, and I really like Jalen Suggs, though, which is why he's which is the only reason he's up here. I really like Jalen Suggs. But, yeah, he's a, he's a shooter. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's go on to the next player. LeBron. A, but he's hanging on to A by a thread. Like LeBron versus Lamelo's preference. I think I'm going to go Lamelo over LeBron. But this is one of the most underrated cards in the game, by the way. Yes, he only has LeBron base and not X and base. That is way more of a problem when he's not playing point guard. Like, is he Giannis point guard? No. Is he Simmons? No. Like, it was just that when he came out, he was expected to be the standout point guard of the game. And when he wasn't, people kind of were like, oh, this card sucks. Whereas, like, no, he's just, he's not as good as you expect him to be. But no, nah, he does not suck. He most definitely does not suck, lads. This card here is very good at the point guard position. So, um, yeah, now we have got Lonzo. Lonzo's going to beat here. He's a little bit worse than LaMelo Ball. I mean, he was pretty decent when he came out. He was very decent when he came out. So, I don't think he was a he was ever a bad card in my team. He has a really iconic pink diamond card. A really, really iconic pink diamond that most people used in their 250k lineups. And for that reason, a lot of people are really kind of high on Lonzo for this year. But uh, yeah, he's just he's just kind of there most of the time. He's fine. Luka Doncic, B as well. Um, he, is he as good as Jalen Suggs though? I actually think Suggs is a bit better. I don't know what it is. I prefer so. If you're asking me to use Suggs or Doncic, I'm using Doncic. But it's a close one. It is a close one. Um, sorry, Suggs or Doncic, I'm using Suggs. So, yeah. Let me put uh, Let me put him into C tier. Okay, and we got this Luca, and because of how good this Luca is in the right hands, I'm gonna have to go S. You have to go S. In the right hands, this Luka Doncic can be deadly. This Luka Doncic can be absolutely deadly in the right hands. Um, and for that reason, he's going to go S tier. Especially on that. It doesn't even... Um, it does not even matter um, what gen you're on. That Luka Doncic in the right hands is God. Magic Johnsons. The funny thing is that... I don't have the USA Magic, who's actually the best value of all the Magic Johnson cards. Um, I mean, I'm just not going to use... I'm just not going to put... All three Magics are going into A. All three Magics are going to go into A. And for that reason, I am just going to... Uh, I am just going to... Put them... Put one of them in A. And just assume... And just hope. And just hope that... Um, yeah, I just hope you guys can see that they all should just be in this tier. So, uh, yeah, now we are going to go to Malcolm Brogdon. He's like C. Decent hype, but he's got Iguodala base. And, I mean, Iguodala base is, is I mean, not great. It's not great for an old point guard. Not great for any card, but definitely not great for a point guard. We got Markel Fultz. 6'4", but he's got a long wingspan. I actually don't... I actually think Fultz is as good as Jamal Murray or Alex Caruso. So I'm going to put Fultz into C tier. I like that Fultz card. Curry base. He's good. Jordan, A. 
Point guard, Michael Jordan, A tier. Jalen Johnson, definitely. Definitely um, a better option if you're looking at the two. They're very similar, but yeah, Jordan is point guard, he's going to A tier. Muggsy, of course, Muggsy's and worthless. Paul George, S. No question, Paul George, S. Whether it's the one, I wouldn't necessarily play him at the one, but he's pretty good at the one. At the two, though, is where he's best, and he's one of the best two guards in the game. If you could make the art, you could legit make the argument he's the best two guard in the game. They, uh, you can definitely, definitely, uh, argue that he's one of the best two guys in the game. Then we have got Penny Hardaway. Not to be mistaken for the EU Pro and point guard Penny Hasaway. Um, we have got Penny Hardaway in here in A tier. He's high A tier though. He really is. I don't like his release. I don't like 75, which is the only reason he's not going to S tier. But I mean, if you, you can argue him in S tier, he's a bit like Lamelo. Him and Lamelo are probably the two that have the best. You have, have the best arguments to go up to S tier. Okay. Then we have got Rajon Rondo. He's a little bit like basketball, John. He's just undersized. But Rondo's Opal was pretty okay when he came out. Or Jay Hampton, wherever I have Jamal Murray. Or Jay Hampton's going C tier. He's like taller Jamal Murray. I really want to move him to B tier, but I know I know he shouldn't. I know C tier is fine, fair for him, but I really do like Jamal Murray. I really do like Or Jay Hampton. Rod Strickland. I mean, Rod Strickland's just like worse Kyrie. He's literally just Kyrie, but worse. He's got all the Kyrie sigs. He's just worse Kyrie Irving. He's just a downgrade on Pink Diamond Kyrie. Rudy A. He is insanely good. He's insanely, insanely good. But I still think A tier is... A tier is the best spot for Rudy. Westbrook's... I, why don't, I don't know why I don't have the Dark Matter Westbrook, but I'm going to go C and D. I actually don't mind this Westbrook too much. Um, he's not great, but like he is kind of on the D Rose level. So from there, Steph Curry D tier as well. Again, he's on the Westbrook D Rose level. He's six three invincible point guards, not too bad at all. Theo Maladon. Maladon's all right. He's gonna go D tier. I used him in a squad builder. He was actually pretty good, so he's gonna go D. Tracy McGrady, get up into S tier. Again, what I use him a point guard at two. Actually, to be honest, for for T Mac more so than any, he's fine if you use the point guard. You can create with him. Um, six foot eight, seven two wingspan, great defense. Just overall, really, really good card. Trey Mann. Trey Mann. I mean, the sum note, you, like these guys are basically the same card, but different. The only difference between these two guys, different jump shots, the same card. So, Trey Mann is going into B tier. Okay, so now we have got five cards left, and they are all quite interesting ones. So, Tyrese Halliburton. I'm a Halliburton low B. Like, is Halliburton as good as Trey Mann or to some new? No. But is he better than Caruso? Yes. And Hampton? I think so. Tyrese Halliburton was so good. I mean, that diamond card, we can't, like, that is one of the most iconic players. Like, I will be making the most iconic players in 2K21 list, and uh, he will be on that list. He might be on the list, but uh, yeah. Card's insane. Then we got Vlade Divac. Vlade. He's a 7-1 point guard. Let's be real. He's going C tier because you can cheese with him. And anyone saying that you can't, you never watch me play any My Team Limited when Diamond Cards were like, when Diamond Cards were one of their tiers. Him and he was my point guard alongside Joakim Noah. So not alongside Joakim Noah, alongside. I'm trying to think who the center, who the other point guard was. Oh, Winslow. And I would dominate. I would dominate. The other teams were all running their Luka Doncic's. They were all wasting their Dark Matter spots on um, the point guards. Nah, nah. I was I was locking them up with Vlade Divac and then in a zone of Vlade Divac and then using uh, just either my Giants or using Bowl Bowl or something and running by their power forwards. Wolf Frazier. Uh, he's 6'4". I hate his release. I actually like his release on next gen. I hate it on current gen. So I'm going to go D tier for Frazier. He's not great. Wes and Zion, C and high B. I I don't mind Zion. He's only got Kobe release on quick, whereas Wes is basically like a slightly better Zion, but Kobe release on very quick. The difference with Wes, like Kobe release is so good, especially on next gen. 
I'd be tempted to put Wes up in A, but I think that looking at it, Wes probably belongs in B, but it's high B. It is high B. So yeah, I still can't believe I had Cade. I <laughs> that Cade definitely would look out of his views in A right now. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. This is the final one for the year. It's the final point guard tier list, lads, and we are coming towards we are coming towards the end of the year, which is crazy. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.